Welcome to a special episode of Deep Dives Unsolved Mysteries. Today, I'm at the beautiful land of Sequoia National Park of Three Rivers. Hello, I'm with special guest Camilla Hartman, who also happens to be my mother and a longtime resident of Three Rivers. I have some questions for you about the river water level changes. Okay, um, what changes have you noticed in the water throughout the years of you? So, coming up here, the water level uh, in May was never suitable, was very, very, very high, um, very dangerous, and normally that was due to the beginning of the snow runoff. At that time, we didn't have, there was not as many effects of climate change, and we had a lot more water, a lot more snow and a lot more water. Um, and so what we, what you end up having was every once in a while you'd have a huge flood and you can hear the boulders rolling down the river and it changes the landscape, it widens the river out. And so we've had, in the past, we've had some really big floods. Um, actually it came all the way up to the tree there that you see in the background. The river came up to there at one point, um, in one of the floods. Since then, um, since really in the last, I would say 20 years, we have had low water to the point where you come to August and it was not even swimmable. It's got algae growing all over it. Um, and it literally is a trickle of water. So I believe that it is due to climate change. I think we have extreme levels of heat here now also at 105. Um, but at this point in May, the kids are swimming. It's hard swimming, it's challenging swimming. Um, but the, you know, we will be, uh, it's going to be really low again. So even though we did have a decent amount of snow this year, yeah. um, but we've had these really high temperatures again. So we'll see the next one. So we've had extremely low in the last couple of years to the point where it's almost disappointing. Um, but I do believe it's due to climate change. All right, you heard it from here, folks. Thank you.